Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play 999 Wind. I am the Flightless Bird and in our last episode we had a very mysterious ending where the game just said to be continued and uh yeah left us at that and I have no idea what that means but we did get this three left behind ending but today I want to try to get through the red lock. The red lock should be easier to get through than the white lock based on what I've seen. And this is what I see. I see an unlock, an unlock, two unlocks, and two locks. So if you remember our white playthrough, we had all these locks that we had to fill in. But in this run, we only need two choices to go our way before we should be able to, you know, bypass the fact that we all get murdered horribly by being stabbed to death. So let's go see what's on this path. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's gotta be exhaustion. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just guinea pigs. A guinea pig? You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? You know? Speaking of experiments, there was this experiment some scientists did with rats. First, they took a squarish C-shaped tank and filled it with enough water that the rats could drown in it. So this definitely seems new. And what I've learned from the flowchart is if you go to the, um, the, the indented part, so if you click on the, the lock, and then you go to the second thing on the third thing. Normally that takes you to the story part that you missed. So apparently we are watching something about rats. The tank has two exits. And of course experiments, because experiments are part of this game. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black. So dark even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So. What would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? Uh, go in blindness? I mean, go into the darkness and go blind? B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Ah, good point. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of a laboratory experiment. I like how it says, or relevant. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. It's almost as if they were talking to each other, huh? Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. They all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? This is that uh, morphogenetic field. Is that what's called? I, I can never remember that word. It's it's a little too big for me. Are you suggesting something like telepathy? They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. 
but I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. All the dots. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. Hey, wait. There's something I want to ask you. What? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? The what? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have... I don't know. Put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. You ever think about that? Not until now. Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. Didn't they say that the, uh, the field needed, what was it? Um, it was inspiration and danger? I don't remember the first one, but the second one was definitely danger, right? You needed a, a sense of danger in order to pass on the information. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. There it is. Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Oh. All the dots. Not the first time we've heard this. Okay. Uh, the cool thing about going to this exact spot is it takes you back to the floor chart afterwards. So it's letting you know that you completed that uh, sequence. Uh, so all the reds are unlocked except for one key and one door. Let's head to... Ooh. Uh, we have two choices. Let's go to the nine photos first. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You know which card goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers, then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. So for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two. Oh, uh, I see. Huh? What is it? Hey! What just happened? June, are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, alright? Uh, um... Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you! Are you all right? What happened? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. I just tripped. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. Just let me see for a sec. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. She likes the fact that everyone cares about her. Well, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep. And I'll be fine. I think we all need some medicine and sleep after this. <laughs> medicine? Medicine, huh? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. Why? Ace? Why? Yeah, where did that come from? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. Wait, what? Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Haven't we heard that name before? Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. 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 Isn't that the drug that he took in the, uh, in the hospital room? I've heard of that before somewhere. No, that was something else. Soparil. It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. Yeah, that was the drug. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different routes. It became popular almost as soon as it was made public, with many governments placing large orders. Demand for Soparil skyrocketed, 
And of course, that meant Cradle Pharmaceuticals stock did too. Why do you know all of this? Yeah. I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway, when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up. Huh. Huh, all the dots. Could have what we heard Cradle Pharmaceutical before, though. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, hmm. uh, come on, Ace. This ain't hard, buddy. What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? These pictures. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. Presbyopia? No, we heard that term before. That that was the one where you can't see faces, or like all the faces are the same, and you had to distinguish identity based on other factors such as smell, or clothing, or touch. Right? Growing old is a difficult thing. At any rate, I'll leave the rest to you. I'm pretty sure Lotus mentioned that in the laboratory, and the only reason I remember that is because YouTube flagged my thumbnail for that episode. Uh, I think it was like three times. So in the end, I just left it as a door eight thumbnail because every single time I upload a thumbnail, YouTube was like, nope, can't use that one. It's like, why? Anyway. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Hmm. All the dots. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. That was it. Prosopagnosia. Well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait a second. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe, maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Huh. Well, he looks depressed enough to have it. Oh well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. I always thought that was a really easy puzzle. One. Snakes is in number two. And I wonder why that was there. I just need to do the same for the rest. Maybe that was it, and just to show that all. The ninth man's card into box. Yeah! Ah, oh, they opened. What the? Nine. I guess I'll take them with me. Oh, wait a second. The laboratory door nine. No, I mean, I don't mean door nine. I mean, when did the laboratory happen? Was it on this route? Okay, it was on this route. I was about to say, was that on this route? And if it was on this route, how the heck did he know that? But it was on this route. This was the uh, laboratory section here. Uh, yeah. Seems like so long ago. Okay, so both of these keys are unlocked. We don't need to apparently go to the coffin here. We should be able to... Uh, actually unsure where to jump to. Let's uh, jump here, I guess. I'm kind of tempted to go back and watch the knife ending to see how that one ended. But at the same time, I don't want to because it was too horrible. Look, it's... I remember uh, seeing Lotus on the floor dead. Seven and Lotus. And I think I used uh, June's smiling picture as a thumbnail because I didn't want to give away that, you know, Lotus had died. We've got a problem. Clover is gone. What? What do you I remember mean, this. Gone. And based on what I know about Clover, it sounds like she probably killed everyone. Much like the axe murder ending. Which would make a little bit of sense because she did disappear. Uh, although this is unlocked now, so hopefully we'll be going down this path. When? Why? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. 
There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. All the dots. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. We figured that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No. Very well, then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. All right, just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Let's go. Is this part new? Because this feels new. Good. We can still get in. We should thank Seven later. No luck. Clover, where are you? Yeah. I don't think she's here. Please don't go homicidal on us again. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, she's not here. Snake, just where did your sister go? Ugh, such a horrible way to go. The skull shattered, the left arms hideously twisted. Huh? Wait, bones. My brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. This is definitely new. The accident hurt him really bad. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Yeah, let's find Clover before she just starts killing everyone. It's a good idea. Uh, Junpei! June! Where were you guys? Did, did something happen? Clover is... Clover is dead. Oh, Christ. I found her in the first class bathroom. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. How, how did Clover die? She's the one who usually kills everyone. What just happened? Oh no! <gasps> no! How, 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 did, how, do, how do people just keep dying? All the dots, yes, all the dots is right! Huh? Clover. Clover, why? Why did this happen? <sighs> Clover! No way. Let's... let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Is there an ending in this game where we all don't die a very horrible death? Yes, I, I think so. You should get some rest. Here, the bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. And I say that because um, one of our amazing commenters so far for this, uh, for this series a uh, huge shout out to my uh, my friend here, uh, Alpha Mate. Um, he actually said in the video that was a submarine ending. Um, he says, you know, I have a bad gut feeling that this is a true ending of the game, which is stupid. Why would the true ending have everyone basically die? It doesn't make sense. Uh, so he says the fact that they rolled the credits in that ending makes it so that you you know you just get the feeling like. The only way this game can end is if just everyone dies. Why did you come to this room? I'm hoping that's not the case. To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. I got to the top of the stairs by the casino and yelled as loud as I could. Hey, guys! I found her, but it's bad! She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin! Come quick! Or something like that. How did she die? Then I went back to the bathroom. 
A, Santa and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Why did you do that? <sighs> Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Oh, you think I did it? Well, the whole idea of I just want to play the piano is definitely suspicious. Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <laughs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. I figured there might be something pretty important in it. I don't ever remember seeing the safe. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, I didn't want to screw around with door five again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? I get it, but how is Clover dead? Yeah. Figured it wouldn't open. C can we go back to Clover, please? Huh? This is... Rust. If there's rust here, that means... Has someone opened the safe? Uh, all the dots. Uh, even more dots. Huh? And all the dots. <sighs> yeah, even more dots. Uh, Can we talk about Clover? Maybe hey. there's another clue. Like, we, we just kind of glossed over her death a little too quick. And I know that... I know that we're under the gun... Well, in the other ending, we're literally under the gun. Uh, figuratively speaking, we're under the gun here as far as the clock goes. But at the same time, I really would like to know how Clover died. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. Okay, it was a stabbing, so it was the knife again. Where's the knife at? Behind this door. Who has the knife? The knife man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Why are uh, we going... Oh, the hell. The, oh, the smell is... Jeez. <laughs> Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if there was ever a time for all the dots, it's right now. It's glasses. Wait, it's it's gone. His bracelet. It's gone. Someone came back and took his bracelet? It was right next to the glasses. But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? <sighs> All the dots. No, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. What is it? Clover. Mm, I don't want to look at that anymore. Oh, <sighs> poor girl. All the dots. What was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. And... I found this. What? I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. And you also want to let someone else know. That's actually really smart. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? <laughs> I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. What? Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is going on here? What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister hand means... Ah. Uh, um... Err... <laughs> what am I supposed to know? <laughs> now, I know more people in the world are right-handed over left-handed. Uh, so does that mean it's sinister because more right-handers than left-handers? Or does it mean it's sinister because there's fewer left-handers than right-handers? You know what, um, I always like to say... What, what's our old saying? Left is right? Yeah, whenever I play games, I always like to say left is right. I always like to try to go left to right. Because I just have this superstition that the left way is always the right way. So in this case, the left is right. So does that mean that the right is right? Or does that mean the... 
I'm just gonna go with my gut and say the left is right because that's what I always like to say. The left is right. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. Uh, okay, I'm glad you know that, Junpei, because I sure don't. The left hand. Hmm. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Good guess, flightless bird. Thanks, side of 5050. Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Truth is gone. Huh? Truth. Gone. Hmm. Truth. Gone. Maybe those two words. How about reading it out loud? Truth gone. Truth had gone, truth had gone. I don't, I, I don't want to see. How about switching the sense around? Um. In the darkness of this sinister hand, my truth is asleep. What about reading them backwards? Uh, Enog da Kaishdania. No, it's it's not backwards. Uh, that would be Enog and her. Ha -ter? No. The only one that makes sense is either the second or the third response here. Um, I'm thinking that we should probably think about what else these words mean. Because this doesn't make a lot of sense. If you switch the sentence around, uh, the truth had gone, truth had gone, truth had gone. And the darkness of the sinister hand, uh, the truth is asleep. Okay, so this might work. This doesn't. This doesn't. I, I have a feeling that this is the right answer. So I'm going to go with this. Because I don't see how this could work. And I'm hoping he'll explain it. How about switching the sentence around? Gone had truth. <sighs> All the dots. Well, that makes even less sense. Clearly switching the words isn't going to help. I have a different idea. Oh, okay, so if this is right, let's do all the wrong ones first. Maybe there's something about how they sound out loud. Truth. Gone. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. They sounded the same in my head. I have a different idea. Oops. How about reading them backwards? I would love to see him read them backwards. Gone and truth. Enog and it hurt. <laughs> Uh, what am I saying? <laughs> All the dots. words. I doubt that's what the riddle was trying to say. Wasn't a bad idea, though. Yeah, it was a bad idea. Truth, gone. Those two words. What else could gone and truth mean? Truth, of course, means something that is correct. Something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. What? That's some big brain stuff right there. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. The left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking out. So if I... Press them in the following order. I need to... Yeah, I need to read that note again. Not that one. Not that one. Oh, I didn't write it down. It was truth is gone, truth is gone, gone is the truth, right? So truth is gone. Truth is gone, truth is gone, the truth is gone. Like this? What? Wait, did it just... What is going on? One? One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Okay, this time I'm writing that down. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? Hmm. All the dots. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. 
One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. One four three eight three four two one. Huh. One to the right. Four to the and. Oh. Bingo. I knew it was for this. Oh, is this some sort of note? What is going on here? Let's see. How deep does this rabbit hole go? Fact number one. The nunnery game was played once before, nine years ago. Fact number two. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. Wait, Snake was in the game? Fact number three. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO? What? Dude, that's Ace. Ace planned the game nine years ago? Gentaro Hungu. Cradle Pharmaceuticals Chief of Staff, Nikisa Nijisaki. Cradle Pharmaceuticals RED Supervisor, Toraku Kubuta. And Majority Shareholder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Kagechika Musa Shidao. I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls may be saved. I now state the truth. Zero. Wait, so Zero is punishing huh. Ace by making us all play this game? This just gets more confusing. All the dots. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. Why? There's something I want to be sure of. What do you want to be sure of? I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying- Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. And just like that, we only have an hour left. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Actually, uh, before we get started, I was hoping you could do something for me. Ace, Seven, and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Mm hmm? Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No. We're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. I knew it. Oh. Oh, that changes the math. I understand. <laughs> All the dots. Yeah, I, 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 I think I understand exactly what's going on. But I'm not going to say anything. Um, I'm just going to let this play out. And if they don't explain what I'm thinking, I'll come back to you. But uh, let me just say that if he's right, the math changed and what we thought was possible based on only one combination now there's a second combination that could work too huh what was that about how should i know thanks i appreciate your cooperation by the way ace would you mind if i asked you something what is it do you know who i am what what kind of question just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Who else would you be? Unfortunately, that's the wrong answer. Actually, I'm Santa. Wh what? What? <laughs> the clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. Impossible. So, you're saying I'm not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? 
What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals 19. One plus nine would be 10. The digital root would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. That's kind of a convoluted answer. It's five, right? Huh? <sighs> All the dots. You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. To, to think I was? Ridiculous. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. <sighs> All the dots. I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. Yeah, most people would just say, duh. I mean, just look at you. You're obviously Junpei. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. Okay, I don't know if I would say that, but yeah, I would just say, duh. <sighs> All the dots. So he has that photophasia thing where he can't recognize faces. Ace. You have prosopagnosia, am I right? That, yeah, that word. Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... We'll have Lotus explain. Very well, I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? You want to mock me for my disorder? No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kind of bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance that the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. What do you mean? Yeah, I'm not following. My train of thought had to do with a number calculation. I'm not sure what this means. I'll just come right out with it. I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you? You know, based on the math, I agree with Jinpei, which hurts because I always thought Ace was like the coolest guy on this team. I mean, he was a leader. He was very calm, very cool headed. He was a, pl a team player. I'm, I, I, I do understand where Jinpei's coming from though, but Wow. I have three pieces of evidence. And, but, you know, again, that just raises more questions. Like, why is he here? Uh, why did Zero capture all of us? If the, you know, if Zero just wanted to get payback on Ace, what's all this for? The first. Think back to a few hours ago. You made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room. There was no way all seven people could go through them. Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. Then you, Ace, said, why would you say something like that? I'm sorry. Pretty simple, really. You said, I'll stay here. You didn't want us to see the dead body in the shower room. <sighs> All the dots. You see, if Ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Oh, that's clever. Door seven and eight. There was no way we could get through door three, the shower room. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. I thought so too, but... Altruism, huh. You already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Because he ran the game the first time. So he knows the layout of the ship? Is that where you're going? Really? Yes, yes! <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. I just like how Jinpei's like, yeah, okay, that's cool. Next. The second is that, as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? Oh, don't, don't, don't you dare play that game with me. Junpei, they call that prejudice. No, I am not that stupid. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. Wh what? I didn't put it together right away, but there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. 
He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X, Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. I don't understand. How... How would... Where did this guy come from then? Oh god. No. That's impossible. Yeah, that, that is kind of stretching the truth here, Junpei. Well, I, I don't mean to say stretching the truth, but stretching uh, the plausibility. How's that? Let's say, hypothetically, that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. It would have been obvious they were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? Because Snake was... Snake played this game nine years ago. <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. And he would know Snake from nine years ago because those with prosopagnosia recognize people not by their... He would recognize them by other things. So the fact that Snake gave a false name, he might have still recognized him. Wait, wait just a moment. Let's say you're right and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew, that would have been really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> All the dots. Two, Snake had a grudge against you. You knew that. Or at least you could have easily assumed he did. Even without exposing your identity, he was a threat to you. You never knew when you might be attacked. You couldn't ever let your guard down. Every moment was a moment he might try something. You didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you. So you... Hey, hold on a minute. What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nonary game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break! That paper is a lie! Someone is trying to frame me! Me. You said me, right? What do you mean? <gasps> Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Aha. Uh -huh. Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? Who? I I, I kind of need to go back and like watch this, but. In the very first episode, who's the one that who recommended code names? Because if that was Ace, that would be that would be mind blowing. I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Someone is trying to set me up. You see? First of all, first of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. But you could have because the math works out. Nope, you could have. <gasps> huh? Exactly. Huh? Uh-huh. Wh what? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No, you couldn't have. I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> if you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. 
So what he's basically saying is, and this is a math that I worked out as well. Um, he has one. One plus nine is ten. Ten plus two is twelve. The digit of twelve is three. So it is possible that he could have done it all on his own. The real question though is, if that's true, where did this guy X come from? How did Guy X have Snake's bracelet on? And where is Snake? Like, how, I mean, is, is this confusing anyone else? Because it's confusing me. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. <laughs> And who is Zero? Because if Zero has been dead on him, who is Zero? <laughs> Wait, does that mean Zero is Snake? It's plausible, isn't it? It would make the most sense because Zero could take off his bracelet and give it to the unknown man and set the whole thing up. So that means Snake has to be Zero. <laughs> All the dots. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter, you are brilliant, and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.